we're team something about scheduling and today we're going to talk through how we've worked to achieve challenge one. This challenge looks to utilize NPLAN's probabilistic data relating to program schedules to identify areas of risk to the project end date or opportunities where the project end date could be reduced. This is highly important to a client who want to understand the activities in a schedule that are most likely to cause delays, but also where they can spend their time and money to mitigate these risks. Finally, they would also like to understand the likelihood of a project overrunning as a whole. We had three data sets for each of the projects we had. The first being the metrics that the end plan model uh, gave out. The second being the plan start and end dates for each of the activities and milestones. And lastly, the links between the tasks within these projects. So in order to identify which tasks on the program are most important um, to target, we produced a priority factor and um, we did a few of these priority factors using the different metrics that were available in the data. But the most, um, uh, the most reliable one that we found was based on the criticality. So this is the chance that the task um, was on the critical path in the many simulations that were done. Um, multiplied by the duration contribution. So this was the impact that that task would have on the project end date if it was critical. So that adds a bit of magnitude to the uh, priority factor. And we also multiplied it by the unlikelihood factor, which was the likelihood that the factor um, or that the task would overrun. We also developed a link criticality factor. So um, this gives a list of uh, links that are in the schedule that should be targeted um, as dependencies to be broken. Um, so the link criticality factor was defined by the criticality of the predecessor times the criticality of the successor. If the criticality of the predecessor and the successor were high in a lot of um, the simulations, then it's likely that that link between those two tasks was a driving link. So if that link could be um, broken in the program, then there would be a big benefit to the project end date. Our solution will take the form of a dashboard, which visualizes the task with the highest priority factors. The dashboard is an interactive tool and can be adjusted through a slider to define a specific time frame of the tasks. So there's a number of next steps that we'd like to explore, uh, all of which would require access to MPLAN's model. First, we'd like to validate the calculated priority factor. Um, we'd then like to optimize this priority factor. So we'd do this by uh, looking at how changing certain variables would impact the project end date. Um, then we'd like to constrain the duration of an individual task and again assess how that impacts impacts an end date. To improve our metric in the future, we would like to add weightings to each of the metrics using machine learning. However, to do that, we would need the metrics for each of the critical paths and the project end date variance for each of the th simulations that is processed for the model so we can train and test uh, our model. We would like to have a historical data which contains decisions of each task prioritization as well as results of the decisions like recorded delays on other tasks. We could then use reinforcement learning to create an agent that takes a graph of tasks and their context as an environment and decides on the action which task must be focused the most. If we had more time we'd like to explore the problem from the point of view of the graph that um, represents the schedule. So one way we could do this is use a graph traversal algorithm to assess the cumulative um, priority factor across different paths throughout the project. So by identifying a high cumulative priority factor, you can work out which links could po possibly be removed to reduce the um, time with the project. Another way we could investigate the graph is by identifying hubs using a hub detection algorithm. So a hub is a node that has a high number of links into it and out of it. So by basically decreasing the number of links, you're decreasing the risk that um, a delay in this hub will cause delay to future tasks.